Hi there, my name is Ronnie. Today um, I'm going to teach you something that is very difficult to do, sort of, um, but once you learn how to do this, it will become very easy. I like to call this, it's going to be a series, The Art of Conversation. The Art of Conversation is an art, which means it's not something that everyone can do especially if you are trying to do it in a different language. So, whatever language you speak, you can use this to help you. If you are shy, or if you don't know what to say to people, or how to respond to people, this will help you. Um, I am an English teacher, so I'm going to teach you in English. How odd. So, the art of conversation, dun, 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 part one. How to keep a conversation going. So, for example, you are in an elevator with someone else. Maybe you've seen the person before and you say to the person, uh, What did you do last night? And the person says, Oh, I went to the movies. Hmm conversation has ended. Not anymore. If someone tells you such a short, beautiful sentence, I went to the movies, it's your turn to ask them what we call follow-up questions about what they've told you. So, I went to the movies. <gasps> okay, um, follow-up question, follow-up question. What did you see? What movie did you see? And the person, um, I saw Who Met Roger Rabbit. That's an old one, but okay. And then you say, oh, okay, that's good. Um, oh, who, 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 who did you go to the movies with? And the person says, my friend. Oh. Okay, um, where, 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 what movie theater did you go to? The police are coming, hold on, okay, no, here they are again, what, where, 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 where was it, was it uptown, was it downtown, was it the cheap theater, um, was it a very, very old theater? Where? Um, if you'd like to, you can also ask the person about the price, if you want to. How much? So how much were the movies? Um, in Toronto, Canada, where I live, hello, um, we have Tuesdays are $7 for the movies. They are half price. So a movie in Canada is $14. Very expensive, but on Tuesdays, they're half price. So maybe you can say, oh, how much was it? Good. Next one. Let's say that you're in another awkward conversation moment, and you say to the person, future, you want to talk about the future? What are you going to do on the weekend? Yes. What are you going to do on the weekend? The person says, I'm going on vacation. Or they can say, I'm going on holiday. Now, please, vacation and holiday are almost the same thing. It means that you are usually going somewhere on a trip or you're going to a different city. You are not sitting at home playing computer games or watching Ingvid. You are actually going somewhere. So if the person says, I'm going on vacation, or I'm going on holiday. You can remember what Ronnie has taught you on Ingvid and go, what? Don't use what in this situation. What? Well, I'm going on vacation. Who? Who? With who? Who are you going on vacation with? And they will tell you, oh, with my family. Oh, your family? <gasps> I can talk about the person's family. Oh. How many children do you have? Oh, I have two children. People love to talk about their children. 
and their family. So you can also tell them or ask them, ooh, where? Where are you going? Um, for example, they say, oh, I'm going to Ireland. Maybe you have been to Ireland. And you can say, oh, I went to Ireland too. Well, don't do that. And you can then start a conversation about Ireland. You can tell them, you know, go to the Giant's Causeway. It's fantastic. you got to have some Guinnesses when you're there. You can give them advice and information. This conversation will keep on going. So, these questions. We have five WH questions in English. They are who, what, when, where, and the last one is why. Okay, so the art of conversation, this is the trick. If someone gives you information, have these five WH questions ready in your head. Who, what, when, where, why. And ask the person a question that relates to what they've told you. This way they have to give you an answer. They just can't go, yes. So if someone says to you, I went to the movies. Where? Yes. It does not work. They have to give you more information. Okay, so remember, five WH questions. How to keep a conversation going in English. Ask the five WH questions. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it helps you. I hope you can now speak to people and have a wonderful time. See you later.